Hey everyone, I bring you a battle today against, um, shit, I forgot his name. Oh, Jay Jirachi from YouTube, that's right. Uh, this is like our third battle, first time he won, second time we got disconnected, and this time I won, so. Well, spoilers, I know. So I'm leaning out with my Specs Weezing, because it's something different. He lays out with my Andy and gets an Intimidate on it. I think it's a double Intimidate, which is his main threat on my against my team, is the double Intimidates. That's, but thankfully, my Weezing Specs, so I'm going to Thunder it, get more than half the pair of hacks, but it's carrying Lumberry, which is kind of random. Um, then he switched out on Lantern, because he knows my thing Specs, because he's seen my video that I have up. So he... So you gotta go into Uxie to take the discharge or whatever. Uh, just to set up a light screen so discharge we need to do less. But he's just trying to get the pair of hacks on me, which it does since my Uxie's faster. It has a little bit of speed EVs in it, but it's not much. Um, so I go for the yawn here just to get a switch. And it does indeed switch just so I can get the free uh, reflect up. Oh, wait. I tried to get the reflect up, but the uh, damn thing didn't work. So anyways, the hunter's gonna trick trick me because this is just like mixed. Or no, this is you and you or something like that. I can't remember. But uh, yeah. So anyways, I get the yawn again on the Arcanine, I think, and uh, it's gonna willow with me. Still don't matter. It's got a morning sun, which is just lame sauce. And so it's almost at back at full. I'm going to sludge bomb it just to do max damage. I didn't want to switching out into lantern predicting the thunder again. So. And it did actually a little bit more too. It's going to switch out back into haunter predicting another sludge bomb. I predict this and switch back and I sw go to my aggron. My choice scarf aggron. It's just going to annihilate that haunter. Because I was thinking for the room like was it could have zapped that. I remember it tricked so I had my light clay on it which is just lame. So it goes into his My Diana and gets the Intimidate on it. This uh, My Diana sashed. So even without the Intimidate, it would have brought it down to its uh, sash at least. But now it's dead. So it would have been 2K on my I just noticed he went for Super Fang there. That was a good plan. I didn't know My Diana could learn Super Fang. Um, but anyways, it goes into Inferno. I predict close combat. Switch into my physical wall wheezing to take it like a champ. Uh... After after the burn eight, live another one. So I just decide to take the hit, get another, get it uh, in front of another uh, defense drop. That's what I'm looking for. So I got into my baby, and uh, it gets intimidated. So, but I predict the switch in this Arcanine actually, and I go for the Draco Meteor. Actually, no, I don't predict the switch. I just figured it would get like Draco Meteor would hit anything they brought in. And hit it hard. So I switch out because I'm it's extreme speed wasn't gonna do shit to that in front of with no, minus one attack. Uh, he goes in the stone edge, he gets the fucking crit, which is just lame. Uxie always gets critted. I don't know what it is, but that's, every time I use my Uxie, it gets crit hit, and it's just lame. But whatever, I would go to my Agron to scare away the Infernape, and um, it gets, sends in his lantern. It lives in head smash, but not very much. And another head smash will destroy that lantern. And so that's that, basically. Huh. Um, so it goes back into Inferno. I don't outspeed it, because you and Jolly Scarfed Agron can outspeed max speed Inferno. Uh, I don't know if it was Jolly or Adamant, but it was Bandit. That's all I know. So that's going to KO. Close, that close combat's going to KO my Agron. He's going to switch into his Zelf. Uh, I go for Draco Meteor here because she probably was gonna expect to be extreme speed at pl like a plus one drop, defense drop, but it not a lot. So Draco Meteor brings it down to red health. I go for the extreme speed here, and uh, I get a crit. Now me and him were debating this to where whether it mattered or not. Um, it looks he he did he say it did matter because extreme speed would not have KO'd it fully, but. Uh, or it would have not been a 2KO, and it all would have mattered if you would have hit Stone Edge or not. So, that's just what we were discussing after battle. And I just go extreme speed for the kill against the Zell. So, thanks guys. Comment, rate, subscribe, and take care.